Alex. You really look like you're thinking about something. Hey, Scoot. Yeah, I've got a real brain teaser here. I can barely wrap my head around. What are you thinking about? Okay, check this out. So, I was going to the park because it's such a nice, beautiful, sunny day, and I was gonna meet some friends to play Frisbee. And you know how much I love Frisbee. Yeah. So, I'm on my way there, and I saw this really fancy gumball machine. You know, the ones that have, have spirals, and sometimes they play music, and oh, those gumballs look really nice and delicious. Okay. Okay, so I always carry a quarter with me, just in case of gumball machines, and so I reached into my pocket for that quarter, and you'll never guess what. What? The quarter was nowhere to be found! This is a brain teaser. It sounds like we need the KSL scientist to help us solve this one. What? You're right! KSL scientists, collaborate! Looking right over my shoulder. He's looking right at you guys. Oh, that is Miss Namu's drawing of this like totally crazy thing that happened to me the other day. All right. Now, does anyone see that thing in the corner over there? What's that look like? A little bit. It's a gumball machine. Do you guys like gumballs? Yeah. Gumballs, I love them. All right, so I was walking along and I saw this gumball machine and it said, boop, 25 cents. So I went into my pocket, I went to reach in and there was, there was nothing in my pocket. Oh, maybe it fell out. Maybe it fell out? How would it have fallen out? I found a dime today. You found a dime? Yeah. That's pretty lucky. How would it have fallen out of my pocket? Maybe you were walking like this. So maybe I was walking sort of silly. Maybe sort of like that. And my quarter fell out of my pocket. How else could it have fallen out? Um, you could have, um, went in a jet car. What? <laughs> I hadn't been in a jet car, although that sounds awesome. I thought back to like where I was. And I remember like I was at my house and I was on the train and I was at Kid Science Labs oh. and I was at the grocery store and then I saw the gumball machine. Elon, what, what do you think? How else could it have gotten out of my pocket? Did, did it, it happen like it the was... Polar Express where, the, where it had a hole? Oh, so maybe like my quarter ran away through a hole in my pocket? No, no maybe no. it fell out. Discovery time. Yeah! Okay, so everybody thinks there's a hole in my pocket. Now, one way we can figure that out, I've got a brand new quarter here. Ooh. Actually, put this to the test. So, pocket's right here, and well, let's see what happens. Oh, there is a hole! Scoot! Scoot! I think I figured it out, all right? I've got ah, some pants right here. All right, now these pants have something going on. What's, what's wrong with my pants right here? What do you think? What's, what's wrong with these? What's, what's going on? Ah! Put those quarters in your pocket. Put these quarters in that pocket. What are they doing? Ah! They just, they ran away. That's because there's a hole in there. There's a big old hole in the pocket. Right? Pocket is, oh, it's cool. What was that word? It's permeable. Permeable. The pocket is permeable. permeable. I've got all these different materials here I could use to try to fix that pocket. What do you think? Is quarter going to go through that? No. no, but what about, oh, rice? what about you found my rice over here? Look, We're gonna rice go through? will go through. Rice will go through. Wait a minute. But did all the rice go through? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. What about, where's my water tool? What about my water? You wanna try that? Try that out. Look, look. A paper towel will work, but it'll oh. suck up water. Oh, a paper towel will work. Yeah. All right, all right. But it'll Should we try it? Water, but it'll suck paper up towel water. Paper towel will suck up water. Should we try it with the rice first? No, well, you need to hold this down. Oh, I'll hold it down. All right, I'm gonna hold it down. Look at that, did the rice go through? It didn't go through. The rice didn't go through, it's not permeable. For the rice, but you said you wanted to try water, right? Yeah. All right, let's try the water. No. All right, I don't see any water going through. What do you think, do we need, should we add more water? Yes, try a little more water. Whoa, 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 that's a lot of water. It's, and the water's still going through there. It's going through. Ah! It's going through. You, there's actually super teeny weeny holes. Ooh. Like, like sand? No. Tiny holes? Sand, sand is a tiny bit, not even rice tiny holes. 
Uh-oh. Looks like there's a hole in the umbrella. That means it's permeable to water. What can we use to make it less permeable? Could you use a peanut butter sandwich? Could you use a taco? What would you use to fix the hole in the umbrella? Only like, water can go through this. Only water can, only, it's only permeable for water. It's not gonna be permeable for sand. Are you sure? Should we try another one that doesn't have any water in it? Giant, Giant rocks. rocks. Giant rocks. All right, go for it. Whoa. Hold on a second. You see, you see that? Yeah, it's a big hole. That's a big old hole. You just made my, my material super permeable. I think if you put this on. Put the rock on there. Look at that. It's still not permeable to the rock. Okay, do you think it'll stop the rice? Oh, hey, look at that. No. When you put the rice in the holes, it goes through. You have to have But have I can to... put this over my head and none of the rice is gonna fall on me. Yeah. It's not permeable. The rice isn't falling through onto the table. The sand's not falling through into the cup. This seems like some pretty good stuff. If I take my quarter, and drop it right into the air here. Is it gonna fall through? Is it gonna be permeable to my, permeable to my quarter? So put it in okay, there. Okay, hold it still, hold it steady. Uh, bloop. I think that'd be a pretty good tool. Let's see, try the rocks. Put the rocks in there. Is this gonna be permeable? Whoop. Ooh. Oh, nothing's oh, coming, coming out. It's coming out. What about, what about the big giant rock? Can you pick up the big giant rock down there? It's not falling out. I'm, I'm not getting rocks dropped on my head. Seems like a pretty good, Material to fix my pocket up. What do you think? Scoot, I think yeah. this means we gotta go back to the curiosity room. Let's go. All right. Alex, so you got it all figured out? Yup, and it's time to make something. You know what that means. Innovation Box! So, for this one, super easy. All we really need is duct tape. I got a whole bunch of it right here already. My nice little ladder of duct tape. Hey, Alex, is duct tape full of ducks? Whoa. You quack me up, Scoot. Anyway, so we got all these bits of duct tape and we just wanna put them together. Little, little tiny bit, little tiny bit overlapping. Just sort of slap it in there. Uh, a little bit of a, a, a tape high five. Just boom, and it's stuck. And if I take four of these guys and make them into one sort of Whoa. duct tape sheet. That's cool. It's super cool. It's so cool. I want to do it again. Sort of the same sort of thing. Just overlap a little tiny bit of that tape. Slow. Stuck, but that's okay. Give it a little bit of a tape high five. Make sure it's on there. One more time. And there we go. I've got two of them. And then I make a nice big old duct tape sandwich. Stick them on top of each other. Hmm, looks a little bit like that. I'm gonna fold over those sides so that I don't have too much sticky stuff sticking out. All right, now for some folding. Let's fold it up like that, just in half. And then I've got these last two pieces and they go around the sides so that it sticks together, whoa. Go. There's one. Do the same thing on the other side. Over here. There's two. And then these last bits, either rip them off or cut them off. And now I've got my wallet. I need space inside for all my gumball quarters. I can fold it up, fits right in my pocket, and it's perfect. Uh, also, if you got wallets that you made, we'd love to see yeah, them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have a parent or an adult take a picture, tag us online, Kid Science Labs. And if you've got any questions about this or anything else that's science related, we'd love to hear those too. Please send those our way. Thank you, Scoop, for helping me out solving my problem here. I really appreciate it. And thank you, Alex, for showing us how to make these awesome wallets. Of course, any time. And most importantly, thank you guys out there for being our absolutely incredible KSL Science!